definitely less than ideal at the moment. Yeah. Although derailers can look intimidating, they're actually pretty easy to adjust. We learned this in another video. The thing is, adjusting your cable tension, limits, and B-screw doesn't always do the trick. Old cables, improper routing, worn parts, and a whole host of other things can make your bike shift like total garbage. It's no surprise that I had shifting problems after that crash. Like super crunchy. Okay, actually this is really important, so check this out. Alright, so if you're starting at the bottom here. Okay, so you see how that shifted really well? Yeah. Really well. And now, right here, on, on like a couple specific rings, it's really bad. <laughs> and then and then you get back up here and all of a sudden your shifting's good again. That's classic clue that your hanger is bent and it's affecting only a couple rings as opposed to it affecting shifting throughout the entire cassette. You can keep dicking with your derailleur to no avail or you can get down to the root of the problem, the part it's mounted to. So first of all, why does this happen so often? Well, hangers are strategic failure points. They are designed to be weaker than your frame or derailleur so that they will fail. When your rear mech gets impacted, the hanger bends or snaps. This is better than the derailleur itself breaking, but even more importantly, it protects your frame. When an impact isn't big enough to snap your hanger, it gets tweaked. You can stare at it all you want, but you'll rarely be able to see which way it's bent. Usually, it's tweaked in all sorts of directions, but we could just replace it, right? Good luck with that early on a Sunday morning. Derailleur hangers are specific to your bike frame, so while shops will usually have a whole bin of them, it's oftentimes a special order item. How much does the average derailleur hanger cost at the bike shop? It's usually over 20 bucks. Right? Yeah, it's, it's actually like 20, 25, and that you have to have the specific hanger that matches your particular bike, so it's not always the easiest thing to find, especially if you're out of town and they don't have your brand uh, bike. Lucky for me, Alexander had a specialty tool that would save the day. This tool isn't just for bike shops. Anyone who does a fair amount of mountain biking can benefit big time from a derailleur hanger alignment tool. The concept is simple. The tool threads into your hanger and allows you to compare it to your rear wheel. Even if your rear wheel is bent, you can gauge it against a reference point, like the valve stem, as you move around the wheel's radius. Oh, it's definitely out of a line. You see this, I can't even, the... Um, it's touching the spokes, actually. Yeah, it's getting in the spokes, so it's hard to move it around. The trick is to make the gauge skim along the edge of your wheel at the same distance in all places. It's easy to see where you need to tweak it out or in. Now, I actually keep replacement hangers around since they're bound to snap, but in this case, I was unprepared. Hangers are also more expensive than you would think making the cost of a gauge pretty palatable. This park tool model is what a professional bike mechanic would use, and it's under $70. A cheap one barely costs more than a new hanger. So even if you buy a top-of-the-line model, it could save you money. But more importantly, it can get you back on the trail right away. Now, I've bent back to railer hangers by hand before, with varying levels of success. When Alex did it with the gauge, it was flawless, just like a new hanger. There we go. Good, 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 good. And this is where we were having problems earlier, right here. Check it out. So if you're scratching your head trying to figure out why your bike shifts like garbage, more likely than not, your hanger is out of alignment. You could order a new one, go to a shop, or try your luck with the adjustable wrench trick. While those options sound great, I'm leaning towards buying that tool to avoid getting stuck again. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time. All right, guys, this is Alex with the single track sampler. Now that we've got Seth's derailleur all dialed in, we're going to shred. Let's go. Awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!